you are thinking of starting your youtube channel and you are thinking that it's already too late i'm here to give you that push to let you know the things you need to start a youtube channel in the second half of 2020 hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber welcome my name is Rikere Onua and if you're a returning subscriber thank you thank you for always coming back to watch me so today guys i'm going to be talking about things you need to start a youtube channel in 2020 Yes, I know we're already in like the second half of 2020. So it might feel like it's too late for you to start, but I'm here to give you that ginger. That ginger that you're looking for, I'm here to give it to you. Anyways, I'm going to be looking down a lot because I have like things written down in my notebook. So you guys are going to be seeing me looking down a lot. Before I started my YouTube channel, but I had this feeling that, oh, okay, that YouTube is already too saturated, that what do I want to do that somebody else hasn't done? Like, what do I want to do that millions of other people have not done? So like, I kept ha having that doubt and that, um, you know, but then during the quarantine, I just thought, you're not doing anything. So why not just start it? Even if you don't get the desired outcome, but at least you know that you started it so like there's no platform that can be oversaturated instagram can never be oversaturated youtube can never be oversaturated even podcasts i hear some people saying podcast thing is already oversaturated like nothing is oversaturated everything you think of somebody must have done it somehow somewhere it's just how you do it there's now the difference everybody does um youtube everybody does um, instagram everybody does this everybody does cooking vlogs everybody but how you do it is what is going to be different because there's no other person like you and there's no other person that is going to do it the way you do it like your own personal spice you know everybody has that personal spice that they give to things and if you are thinking of starting your youtube channel and you're thinking that it's already too late please Please, my dears, it is not too late. It is not, not too late. And I'm here to give you that push to let you know the things you need to start a YouTube channel in the second half of 2020. Okay, so the first thing you need, obviously, is your filming gear, your filming equipment, be it a camera or a phone. So see, I, I feel like some people make this mistakes that if they don't have a camera or if they don't have everything all set up here, they should not start a channel. So they take so long in trying to get the perfect camera trying to get the perfect this and you've not started this is something that you shouldn't try to break the bank to get a perfect camera you can just use your phone like almost every youtuber i know started with their phone i'm using my phone most people i know are using their phone because imagine you getting a camera unless okay you are very financially buoyant so it's not really a problem because imagine you getting a camera and then you start youtube and then along the line like two three videos you realize that youtube is not your thing what do you then do what do you do with your camera but if you're using your phone and along the line you realize that youtube is not your thing nothing spoils you continue your with your phone like that like nothing spoil nothing lost you should have tried it and it did not work out so you get so i feel like trying to wait to get the perfect equipment the perfect filming gears and the perfect filming editing whatever you want to get this you want to get that you want to get lighting you want to get this one down one down before you start no just start with what you have you just need to know how to use your camera well you need to know how to get the perfect lighting just know how to improve use your settings your camera settings well that will make your video pop and i'm going to do a video on that how to get clear videos using your camera like how to get bombers 4k videos using just your camera it doesn't matter if it's a five or six or whatever i'm going to do a video on that so the second thing you need is lighting lighting goes with um your filming equipment camera if you can't get if you can't get a ring light or an led light or a soft box you know all those big big lightings you see youtubers using my dear just look for natural light simple you don't pay for it you don't have to pay for natural light just go to the front of your window a place that you know that the sun is really entering just stay in front of that place and make your video see natural light is still is still the best lighting you can ever find it's just this touch the natural light gives your videos that you can't get it anywhere even if you have 100 soft boxes and 100 led lights and 100 ring lights whatever you have all the reflector you have this you have that this, this, this. there's just this thing the natural light gives your videos 
that you can't get anywhere so my dear natural lights and your phone and you are good to go next thing you need is you need to have your content written down people make this mistake they just make their first video and then they sit back and wait oh, okay so what am i doing next when another person already has like 100 ideas done and they are filming one they are preparing for the next one they are filming when i pray for the next one and you are just sitting down and thinking okay i've done the first video what am i doing next okay i've done the second video what am i doing next no you need to before you start your channel you need to have at least 50 ideas written down or 50 is too much at least 30 ideas written down 30 video ideas okay you get you do a get to know me you do a how to you do a this this is that that you just have everything written down do not just wait till you film the first one and you upload it then you're not thinking of okay so what am i doing next in order for you to be consistent in order for you to be to keep up with the you know with your subscribers demands and all that you need to write your content down prior to your starting youtube so if you're thinking of starting your channel make sure all the content at least you have 30 content ideas down trust me you might not actually use all 30 of them but at least once come to the worst if you can't think of anything you know that you've written it down the next thing you need is your editing software so there are different editing softwares they are the ones you have to buy they are not free like the ones on um macbook you have final cut pro on your normal your um, windows pc you have um adobe premiere pro but those ones they are not free you have you actually have to buy them like when i said i didn't plan on paying for an editing software so i just had to look for free editing apps that i can use on my laptop or on my phone so the editing app i use on my the free editing app i use on my laptop is filmora it's free yeah you know there are some paid um there are some paid features that yeah there are some paid features that if you don't pay you can't use them and then they are free features but most of most of the things you need are actually free then on your phone you can get video leap iMovie i personally use video leap and iMovie like i get different transitions different effects um it's just easy for me to use those ones than using my laptop but some people find it easier to use their laptops if you're looking for an edit for editing software you have um filmora is free on your laptop Adobe premiere pro if you are ready to pay but if you're not ready to pay i feel like if you're just starting out you shouldn't spend so much money on youtube on getting all this stuff fancy stuff don't spend so much money yet when you have when you are like settled and you know that yes you're going to be doing this for a long term time and you have your family like your subscriber and you have your target audience already on youtube then you can start improving yourself and getting spending money on stuff then you have to look for um, software to edit your thumbnail you can use canva canva snapper there's over um fonto I, I did a video on this already then you need to get youtube studio tube body just all those apps that can help you the next thing you need is your background prop yes you can decide to i feel like your background shouldn't be distracting although you some sometimes you might not be able to help you but you can just get a cloth what is behind me is a cloth before i started my channel i actually, I actually had to like watch different videos and then i saw a video kelechi made on using um different cloth as your background you just need to get this um this thing from mini so there's like a hook an adhesive and hook it to your wall and then you put your clothes and you're good to go just get something easy to find and affordable you get props you get any kind of thing you just want any kind of theme you want behind you i just me i don't like the, anything really distracting if you notice i was using one orange cloth before but i found it too distracting i don't know i just found it too distracting and i feel better using this one that is just plain and i know that you're focusing on my beautiful face because what else do you want to focus on Oh, my voice yeah what i'm saying please focus on what i'm saying too. thank you <laughs> get your props wallpapers and the rest you get all those um fold plants um what else background cloth um and the rest of them anyways. your niche you have to think about what you want to create videos on what your niche wants to be and now you watch some videos that tell you to niche down that okay you should be doing you should be um putting out a particular content like if you are doing makeup stick to makeup or if you are doing hair stick to hair but then i don't think that as a new youtuber or as a growing youtuber 
you should niche down immediately because then you, you tend to like box yourself into one place you get you yes you like makeup or you like me i actually makeup i like hair i like talking so i'm like how do you want me to just stick to one thing i can't do that i can't do that so most times yeah youtube actually chooses your niche for you like when you make videos on hair you make videos on skincare you make videos on um makeup you make videos on you you make talk videos and then there's like there are some videos that actually get more views than others so when you notice that okay this this particular video of mine on it gets more views and it gets me more watch hours then you know you have to make more of those kinds of videos my talking videos actually get me more views like when i talk about youtube or when i talk about my personal life or i actually find out that they actually get more views and more what time than when i'm just doing makeup or doing my hair or <laughs> you know so i feel like people just like hearing me talk so why not give the people what they want so when you are starting off you don't have to start off with a particular niche or start off doing this particular thing you can just do a couple of things that are related please don't go and do tech video and then tomorrow you are doing makeup like you see it doesn't even go so i do not think that you should niche down i just think that you should have like um related content and then just put it out there and that's when you start your youtube you have to get your um channel intro you have to like make sure you make your channel intro and your channel art please and please and please and please for your channel intro it shouldn't be more than five seconds five seconds ever it is even too much but it shouldn't be more than five seconds Please don't give us a whole um montage movie montage i'll be <laughs> one two minutes video because to be showing us your face we're not here to see your face whenever i watch a video and i'm seeing it long i'm seeing long intro i always click out i don't what do I want to use your face for just give me a two seconds intro with your name and whatever or five seconds highest please don't waste my time showing me your face i'm going to see your face when we're when i'm watching your video like what are you introducing sister or brother what are you introducing please keep it short keep it short and simple and then your channel art that's the picture when you open your when you open somebody's channel there's always a picture not the avi not your profile picture your youtube or your, your google profile picture your google avi there's another picture to, at the top you should know that if you want to start youtube you should know what the channel art is so please do not leave that place bare just put your channel at you already know the the dimension i think it's the same dimension with with thumbnail one to 720 by one to 80 so it should be the same di dimension so another point please always make your research i see people asking some kind of questions that they shouldn't even be asking if you are about to start youtube because what do you have google for do you get there, there's some of these people ask some people ask what is channel at there's some things that before you even ask them it should be that you have tried to make your research you don't come into even till now i still make researches because you can never go wrong with actually making research google is your friend anything you think you are thinking about anything you are confused about there are youtube videos on them google how to make channel ads google how to make your youtube intro google this google okay i want to do this one how do i do it google is your friend please be ready to make tons and tons of research see content creation is actually not easy so don't think that you just want to come and then just do anything that you want to do you have to make sure that you're always looking for ways to better yourself i do not want to see your video being the same as it was um three months ago four months ago it should be different there should be a change i should see that we should see that you are making researches and you are trying to be better and you're trying to improve yourself and then i should add this please when you're starting youtube do not start off thinking that you're going to make tons of money if you do that you're actually going to get so tired and then instead of youtube becoming something that you enjoy doing it should actually be seeming like a chore to you like when you're making your videos and you're editing them you should be enjoying what you are doing you shouldn't even be thinking of money because my dears is actually unless you're among the lucky few some people are actually really lucky that they get monetized really fast so do not rush 
take your time build your audience build your your youtube make sure that you have a strong audience so when you actually finally monetize you are make you are going to be making cool cast but please do not come do not um start youtube with the aim of making money because you will burn yourself out you just get frustrated because it takes time it takes time to get a thousand subscribers it takes time to get four thousand watch hours that's not beans do not try to look for any shortcut when you look for a shortcut or you get it through a shortcut when will you not start making when you not you know you not get finally monetized how will you be making your money when you've taken the shortcut to four thousand subscribers when you don't even have a steady fan base yet so how you get to make your money you don't know because you didn't plan that you thought youtube would just giving you money they don't be dashing your money who are you <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Why? <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, so please do not come. Do not start YouTube with the um intention of making so much money because the money go take. It go come, oh, but it go take time. So please, dear. That's why I said, imagine spending so much money thinking that you make enough money fast. And then YouTube, YouTube will humble you. YouTube will always humble you. Hmm. Ask people, YouTube has humbled so many people. YouTube has humbled me. You know that patience is a virtue. Me that I'm not, I'm not even a patient person like that. But now, eh, like I'm patient with YouTube. You should just do whatever you want to do. So maybe last last we'll still get the four thousand watch hours. And last last we'll still get monetized. So what's the rush? There's no rush, my dears. Take it slow. And I'm just going to be putting out stuff that I love, putting out content that I love, and hoping that you guys enjoy them to we have come to the end of this video so please leave your comments in the comment section and make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe if you have not if you actually learned a thing or two please leave comments in the comment section and if you have any requests any video requests please let me know down below i'll see you guys in my next video bye